so my name is Thiago Nassif and I'm one of the organizers of Finca Bacal, which is a community around food and also a platform that brings together small producers and eaters and a community of people who are interested in good food. O Rio de Janeiro continua lindo O Rio de Janeiro continua sendo O Rio de Janeiro, fevereiro e março Alô, alô, é além Aquele abraço We believe in local sort of as an, an, an all-encompassing way to bring people closer to who produces food. So we're just interested in actually making people um, meet with producers face to face and, and taste their food in an informal sort of fun setting. Because you don't have a very ingrained food culture, it's just starting to pick up here. Like you don't have the foodie culture and we lost a lot, especially in big urban centers like Rio, São Paulo, we lost our roots in you know the countryside, in the interior. Like most families in Brazil in the past, they had, they, they used to go, like they used to have, a, either lived in rural areas or had a farm or, you know, were born at a farm. So people still had that connection to the land. But in the last 30, 40 years, like my generation lost a lot of those roots. You know, kids today, they don't know the difference, they don't know how to make food with manjoca, cassava, which is a huge staple. And one of, the things, one of the things that bothered me here is that we don't know who produces our food. So I just, it started off as something almost very selfish of wanting to have like a market, uh, the sort of ideal utopian, utopian market I wanted to have. And we just made an, an open call for producers through the Comuna platform and through our own Facebook page, and people just showed up. It's pretty impressive like how out of nowhere we built sort of a, a network through that. And it also, so that's a testament again to the, the power of food, I think. Chacrinha continua dançando a pança. Because people say good food is expensive because, and then it is expensive for, for a series of reasons. And what we try to do, for example, the cost for people to be in the market is they, people basically pay what, what it's worth. Anyone can pay anything for the market. So what we, tr we try to do, we're, we're lowering costs so they, the, the producer can keep a higher margin of the food and that empowers them and that allows them to, to uh, circumvent like the usual food chain. Instead of selling to a supermarket or to another big market, they can sell here. And ideally, they're going to get a higher margin, and also the consumers are going to pay less for good food. So that's what we want to do. We want to create platforms that allow that's the sweet spot. Like the producers make more money, and people also pay less than they pay for at the supermarket. <laughs> The idea of the market is that we're a pop-up market. It can happen anywhere, and the idea is to take our community to different neighborhoods, and then to start a small network, a small community around food in these different networks. In the beginning, it was for the young hipster crowd, like the people who go to Comuna, basically. But then it started changing a little bit, like you start getting more families, more democratic, which is sort of our objective. And the fact that we're here today, we're pretty, we're pretty psyched about being here. We're really proud because usually it's about Zona Su and today we're in Zona Norte, which is sort of uh, on the other side of the tunnel, of the mountains. So it's really important for us to like bring it to different uh, neighborhoods. You tried it. And, but pe people complain a, a little bit sometimes. They get because they're used because they're used to thinking about food as very cheap when it should be the other way around. Why they should be questioning why food is so cheap. There's so many costs they get externalized anyway. So environmental damage, health costs, they're who pays for that? The public system basically. It's whatever. When we go to the doctor and pay for the doctor's bill basically. So basically if, if people start understanding why food costs what it costs, they probably won't think it's so expensive. So we try through our blog, through everything we write, to, to explain that. 
we're trying to make it cheaper, but food, good food, will never be as cheap as food produced by a massive industrial system. You have to work. You have to work on it's a, on two fronts. Like yes, let's try to make cre creatively find ways to make food more accessible, but at the same time, uh, mobilize and uh, pressure you know, the political system so that it change, changes, and also the mentality, the, the culture, because the food culture is all about a lot, cheap, abundance, and not so much about freshness and quality sometimes. So we need to change that mentality too. The idea is to create a model that will replicate. So instead of us organizing everything, we'll just create a model so other people can organize similar initiatives. So the, the Sacola Virtual, which is our online delivery system, uh, anyone can start it. That's where we want to get. Like right now, we are organizing it because we're still sort of figuring out how it works. But the idea is to like create to create a model that other people can can start their own and then build up. So it's based on the idea that we have instead of being big, we grow by having a plurality. Like in a way, this is not just a cute market with cute vendors. It's actually a way we actually believe in changing the world through through food at least. Sabe de mim?